Want to get your thoughts on the jobs report that we got this morning. Uh, in many ways, at least from a market standpoint, it's sort of seen as a Goldilocks report. Um, the fact that we are adding jobs, but maybe not at the rapid clip that many economists at least uh, were expecting to see. What is your takeaway? When you have 600,000 jobs uh, that were created last month and almost 2 million uh, since just the beginning of this year, this is the beginning of what I think is a strong economic recovery. Why? You've had the American Rescue Plan. You've had stimulus checks that uh, have been put in the hands of many Americans. Number three, you've got rising vaccination rates and the easing of COVID restrictions. All of these things, when added up, point to continued strong job growth throughout the year. So I look at almost 600,000 jobs as a positive report, especially since We've been in a downward decline for such a long time. You can't just flip a switch and the economy comes back overnight. You can't just flip a switch and workers come scurrying back. Many still have concerns about contracting COVID. Vaccination rates are up, but not where they need to be. There are challenges with child care. And there are workers who, in some instances, may have found uh, some stay-at-home jobs or some opportunities that may be better than going back to jobs from which they've been laid off. So there's a combination of factors at play here. But I think what this report shows is a recovery that is gaining steam and picking up momentum. Yeah. Mayor Morial, the other piece of the puzzle that we've certainly heard, at least from some employers, is that perhaps some workers are staying on the sidelines right now, given um, the enhanced unemployment benefits. We've seen more than two dozen states actually move to start to sunset some of those benefits earlier than the fall as well. Is that the right move? Is that going to get more people into the workforce more quickly? Morgan, I, th I think it's a cynical view of the American people that somehow people want to game the system. Let's look at it in this way. Uh, if you look at the number of people who are now looking for work, if you look at the uptick in the economy, people do want to get back to work. But their child care considerations, there's still fear of contracting COVID. Uh, there are other factors uh, before people go back. But look, while there are concerns that are being expressed, uh, the improvement in the economy in the hospitality and leisure sector was quite strong last month. So. I prefer to have confidence in the American people. The enhanced unemployment benefits will burn off in 90 days. I think it creates an opportunity for people to be able to transition their lives from a great period of difficulty, uh, COVID and the downturn in the economy. Many people were just unceremoniously laid off because of what happened with COVID. So this enhanced unemployment creates, I think, a, a, a reasonable transition for people to reorganize their lives uh, for those that have children, to get their children situated appropriately, for people to get vaccinated, uh, for businesses to place the proper conditions and protocols in place, so that not only do we get the economy back, we ensure that people are healthy and safe. Yeah, uh, and, and certainly we could talk about that 5.8% unemployment rate, uh, which ticked down month over month. Um, but when you start to dig dig down into, into some of the data among different demographics, it, it looks very different. Uh, so unemployment for black Americans, it continues to lag. It's 9% versus that 5.8% uh, broader number. Uh, and I realize that that's ticking down too, but the divergence we're seeing, what can be done to alleviate or change am, that? I've expressed here on CNBC for years the great concern about this disparity. Uh, one of the things I think that is driving it is the battering that black small businesses took during this recession. Uh, this is why we need, I think, uh, continued uh, uh, or rather an increase uh, in the minimum wage. This is why we need more investments in workforce development and job training. This is why more businesses need to commit uh, to hiring uh, diverse communities, black and brown people, uh, into jobs. There's a tremendous amount of work to do. And this, uh, if you will, ratio of black to white un unemployment is systemic. Uh, it's, it's part of the structural inequities in the American economy that we always talk about. Uh, so there's a tremendous amount of work uh, indeed to be done. So let's watch this disparity over the next three to four months, over the next six months, and see if it is going to narrow. That's what we want. We want the narrowing of the disparity and certainly overall unemployment rates come down. One thing we can do is place 
great emphasis on small businesses owned by black people, owned by uh, Latinx people, owned in communities of color, owned in urban communities, uh, because in many cases they are strong employers. And the battering they took during the recession, I think, helps to drive this unemployment rate, not in the right direction, but in the wrong direction. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.